To be audacious means to be? To be bold mm. and straight-minded mm. to go to your goal and don't let anybody stop you. Remember McFadden and Whitehead? Mm. Ain't mm. no stopping us now. <laughs> <laughs>
you. Yeah, you're the family guy. <laughs> that's awesome. And uh, that's great. And I met so mm. many people here in Monroe County. And I knew a lot of people, mm -hmm. but I met a lot more. And especially a lot of the elder states people in uh, the people of color community. Yes. And there's not one of them that uh, I don't know. That's good. And uh, I went around to a couple of... Uh, volunteer organizations to find out because not only was I the lead organizer, mm -hmm. I was also a delegate. Now oh, that's a word wow. even the news people didn't know. I had to explain <laughs> it in every interview. But basically, every convention, uh, there's about 3,000 to 4,000 delegates mm -hmm. that are pledged to vote at the convention mm -hmm. for the candidate that they're representing. Yes. Our first um, convention was in Denver, Colorado, in Mile High Stadium. <laughs> it was great. And uh, it's, it's a week of parties yeah. and business, nice. you know, uh, community, I mean, uh, committee business, yeah. but just so many parties and a lot of the Hollywood elite nice. show up at these parties. <laughs> and uh, one of the best people that I really liked, who's a native New Yorker, was Spike Lee. Oh, Spike and Lee. everybody <laughs> wanted to hang out with him. <laughs> that is and, awesome. And uh, that was great. And then for the second convention, it was in Charlotte, North Carolina. Wow. A beautiful city. Yes, I loved yes. that city. Yes. We had the same thing, the parties. Nice. But one of the things, well, both of them, but Charlotte more so, during the daytime, I didn't get a chance to see much of the city mm. because I was doing interviews, remote interviews with the news stations oh, here. Okay, uh, okay. But it was good, though, and one of my favorite people did uh, a live interview with me, uh, Janet Lomax, recently I retired. Janet, yeah. yeah, and uh, we had uh, great interviews, but at night, mm -hmm. night times, the right time. <laughs> That's and awesome. We had some good times. Yeah, that is some awesome. Really good times. So, for, to getting a part of a campaign as large as Obama's campaign was, the Yes We Can movement. Yes. What did that like? How did you even get in your mindset that I want to be a part of this? Like a lot of people, they want to be a part from a distance. But how did you take that action and say, Hey, I'm going to be well, an organizer? Well, some people had started at the end of 2006. Mm -hmm. Um, Facebook wasn't around. There were like chat groups and mm -hmm. uh, um, I forget the name of the groups they had then. Yeah. And they would, had a, a thing and I happened to get it and they said, we want to draft Barack Obama to be president. Mm -hmm. So I signed up and uh, we had a couple of meetings and uh, then after a couple of meetings they said, we got to form a committee. Mm -hmm. And uh, the three women who ran the whole thing with me they chose me to be the leader, nice. and we formated our committee, our goals, and all of that. And we used to have weekly phone calls in the beginning with the campaign, the wow. nationwide campaign. Yes. And uh, so we knew our goals. We we had meetings, all the free media we could get. You know, <laughs> nice. having meetings. Yes, and people free would media. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I guess it's called earn media. <laughs> we had tons. Uh, you know, during those nine years, yeah. um, I did scores of interviews. Bob Duffy was uh, mayor that at one of the times doing that, and I was on TV more than him. Wow. With the interview, wow. so it was great. <laughs> That's and good. He was a great supporter as well. Um, and just meeting people. Mm -hmm. And the thing that really got me, Dante, was that these people didn't want to just be on the side. Mm -hmm. They wanted to do what they could mm -hmm. to make sure we had our first African American president. That's and it just, That's you know, got to my heart that mm -hmm. people care. You know, and they did everything. There. They did everything we asked them to do. For someone out there who's a, who wants to aspire to be like that, who wants to be a part of something larger than themselves, what advice do you have for them? I would say, think about what you want to do first yeah. before you jump in. <laughs> you know, this was a lot of spontaneous because I mean, the whole country was for Obama. Mm -hmm. You know, we won. Uh, uh, the largest presidential election in a long time. Yeah. But think about what you want to do and then get around like-minded people mm. who want to do what you can do. Mm. And together, that synergy, you can move forward. That's and good. I always believe that I, I've always been a people person mm -hmm. and uh, I love people and it just shone brightly mm -hmm. throughout those nine years that we organized for uh, President Obama. It was a thrill of a lifetime. That's good.
How did you feel on that? Glorious day when you found out that he won that first election. How did you? I was it? on uh, the party here in, in Monroe County. Mm -hmm. We're having a big uh, celebration because we had local candidates running as well. So I went out to dinner and I was driving. It was at the convention center. So, you know, I'm looking for a spot driving around that ramp. Mm -hmm. You've probably been in there. Mm -hmm. And I had the radio on. And we knew from our strategy that if we won Ohio and if we won Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. we would win. Mm -hmm. They called them both when I was in the car, just when I found my spot. <laughs> and I just thanked the Lord. Ooh, that's I mean, good. And when I got out of the car and went into the hall, mm -hmm. everybody was nuts. <laughs> we won, we won. They didn't officially call it mm -hmm. until maybe close to an hour after that. But you guys already knew. But we knew. <laughs> yes. If we got those states, and I mean, that campaign, mm -hmm. Dante, was 19 months long. Wow. You know, it started mm -hmm. February 07 mm -hmm. and went all the way, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. in 08. Mm -hmm. And um, it was such a wonderful feeling and all the people there. And I have, we had an uh, official photographer who documented all of the stuff we did. Wow. And every now and again, I look mm -hmm. at all of those photos <laughs> I have them backed up on an external hard drive. Yeah. I was just looking at them uh, this past weekend. Nice. And so many memories. And there was a group that contacted me today who I had brought. This goes back before Obama. It was in 04. John Kerry was running for president. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the unions up here had wanted to get people to go down to knock on doors, make phone mm -hmm. calls for him in Cincinnati. So I got about 11 people. I got uh, five college students and six adults. Mm -hmm. And uh, we drove down, we had two cars, and um, that was like just <laughs> dynamic. Yeah, and yeah. there were people from all over the state, and it turns out the weekend we went down, we went down 04, it was Columbus Day weekend, so it was a three-day weekend. Yeah. When we got there, the next day, it turns out our group had traveled the furthest that weekend oh, wow. to get there because like Cincinnati is <laughs> like eight nine hours. Yeah, it's a yeah, long yeah, drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so they invited us to some VIP receptions mm. and stuff like that. And that's awesome. It's, 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 yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. For someone out there who says, "I want to do more. I, I I know that I can do more, but I don't know where to start or where to even begin to connect with other people." One of the things I say, because I do uh, volunteer work here in Monroe County for a number of organizations, find like-minded people mm -hmm. or just look on the internet for like local organizations mm -hmm. who are profit or non-profit and look at what they do. Okay. See what they do. Mm -hmm. And all of these organizations are always looking for somebody to volunteer. Yeah. And that'll be your way in the door. That's and you will be able to forward from there so That's, there's always stuff out here people say oh I can't find a job I can't do this <laughs> all they have to do is look and mm. reach out to their family members and friends or people who may work at an organization yes. that they would like to work and it's not always they might say oh we don't have any jobs <laughs> now but do you take volunteers <laughs> oh that's good you know never forget to volunteer always that's always good are you ready for rapid fire questions sure <laughs> Favorite book. I just got to read it, and right now, this is my favorite book. Ah. This is a book called Beyond These Gates uh, by the Mount Hope, Friends of Mount Hope Cemetery. Nice. And it tells the story of African Americans who now rest in the cemetery. A lot of them are unsung people. Mm. And uh, I had gotten this book uh, during this past summer, and it was uh, two days in July where one day was 80, 94 and one day was 96. Yeah. I read this on my patio wow. in one sitting. Wow. I think it was the 94 degree day nice. for two hours. <laughs> wow. I had plenty of water. <laughs> oh my God. And uh, I read the manuscript and uh, they asked me to do a back cover blurb. Wow. And I'm on here with uh, Dr. Frederick Jefferson Jr., who you probably know, yes. and uh, former mayor William A. Johnson Jr. And there's mine. There you go. 
And, you know, you can go to Mount Hope Cemetery mm -hmm. and see where these people are. And even better yet, if you purchase the book, Friends in Mount Hope Cemetery, yeah. you can read about their story. So this is my favorite book right now. That's my it. second favorite one, though, <laughs> which happens to be the number one book of 2018, yes. is Becoming. Oh, um, yeah. Her too. She's a wonderful lady. Yes. Favorite movie. Favorite movie. I was I was talking to some people. I'm a movie buff. I used to play hooky from school when I was in New York <laughs> to go to the movies. And you know, there's a lot of movie theaters in New York. But uh, what's the one? Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank Redemption. And if you could ask Obama one question, what would it be? Oh, I've asked him all the questions uh, that I wanted to, but we have one that we're working on, and I really can't talk about it, mm -hmm. but I want him to come to Rochester. Okay. And there's a special deal behind him coming, because nice. he's no longer a politician. Mm -hmm. We're working on trying to get him here. Nice. And uh, politicians call me, email me every week. We were choose to a president. We want him to come here, you know. Oh, and yes. uh, I just love the volunteers and, and the energy and the heart and the love nice. they put into those two campaigns. That's so, awesome. Uh, hopefully we can get them here. That'd be great. I'll let you know. Please do. Yes. And to be audacious means to be? To be bold mm. and straight-minded mm. to go to your goal and don't let anybody stop you. Remember McFadden and Whitehead? Mm. It ain't mm. no stopping us now. That's to me. That's to me. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. So tell people how they can find you online, how they can support you. Yes, uh, online. I'm on Facebook, Ken Preston. I also have another page that's Rochester for Obama. It still lives. That's awesome. So you can find me there. And uh, from there, we can we can contact. Awesome. So until next time, remember that life is meant to be enjoyed and not just endured.